Welcome all you plus two comedy modifiers and plus two comedy patrons back to the stream. Welcome back to a decadent mind where I stream exclusively on Patreon and then later on YouTube. Uh, the devious, devious riddles of a decadent mind. And uh, now we're at the end of... Of the sins and virtues. What is this actually called? Two sides to every coin. So, we have solved all seven deadly sins. We have solved all seven deadly virtues. And now, we have to take the answers that we have, put them in the correct order, and then live happy lives. So, that's what we're going to do. Let's get our virtues, because we found out if we go to the virtues, open this in a new tab please. It's going to want to play music. I'm going to be like, no. I'm going to be like, no. Creepy. Uh, and then we're going to do the same here for the sins. Shush. And then if we go into the page source... We have the order here. All right, actually, Sims can go ahead and be first. Uh, open a new tab, please. Or, no, page source, page source. All right, so we got the page sources here. So for each thing that we have to solve, uh, this is the order. So first it's Avria, and then it's Garnitas, you know, all that stuff. Uh, I've already started doing it. Do I remember where I left off? No. <laughs> uh, there are six letters here in my answer. So I will, or five, uh-oh. That would still imply I've done three. So now we have to go to the fourth one, which I realize I can, I can pretty much just get to this way, which is a bit faster. And this will help me learn what this is. This is kindness. So I gotta find what kindness was. Find it. Kindness keyboard. Uh, did I put it elsewhere? I might have also put it elsewhere. This this document's not very. There we go. Answer is underscore D. So we'll add underscore D to this. And we'll get rid of this. Yeah, we'll leave it for now, actually. <laughs> Let's not screw with that. Uh, so now we're going back to the sins. Let's get rid of this. Oh, no, I shouldn't have done that, but oh well. Uh, sins, uh, number five is Ira. Also known as Wrath. So let's go ahead and find out what the answer to Wrath was. Shoot! All right, what was which one was Wrath? Uh, ba, ba, ba. quiet you. Uh, so this this was uh, all about. Um, what was this? This was freaking Roman numerals. Uh, so it was like M I and then 500, which 500 D mid. No. Oh, right. It was midi. Oh, this was such a pain. I forgot all about this. <sighs> Did I really not write the answer to this anywhere? I didn't, I really didn't write this down anywhere. Maybe I wrote it as Ira, like an idiot. Like Ira. No, God, I know I solved this. I was, oh, there it is, Wrath. EP, done. Done. 
Awesome. All right, so back to the virtues. Number six, which is the, what is this? Patience, I'm guessing. This one I think didn't have a, uh, there's not an image in this one. That's why nothing's coming up, right? It's just, yeah. Uh, it was sitting right there, I'm pretty sure, though. Patience. I don't know why I couldn't find Wrath last, like... Did I spell Wrath wrong? Is that what happened? Maybe. R-A. Alright, so after patience would be number seven, which is here, which is pride, which goeth before the fall. Pride. Why is it like this? Why? I know I saw pride. It's just the search feature feature that terrible on this? It's right there! <laughs> VA. Alright, so after Pride... Militus... Also known as humility. Oh yeah, smoothie in hand. That's why I started so late, is I super needed a smoothie. And I didn't make it right, I just remembered. I'm doing this new thing with my diet where uh, I'm adding cherry juice to my smoothies. It's supposed to be good for your muscles. And uh, I forgot. Why can't you find anything? <laughs> like, wait, hold on. Ah, okay, it's searching down. All right, so I learned a thing. Whatever. T.I. Nola Depravity. Back to the sins. Sin number nine. This is what? Lust. Ooh, lust was like the first one I saw, I think. Oh, oh, lust. Oh, you silly lust. Does that mean the next one's chastity? When I was in college, I wrote a play called Chastity and Destruction. And it was about a guy who was trying to lose his virginity. Uh, and he had it all planned out with his girlfriend. And then he gets home and his roommate is ending the world in the living room. <laughs> it was a fun play. Um... There we go. Foe! The answer is foe. F. O. Back to the sins! Oh yeah, this, there's a clue that I missed for a long time. Um, sloth. Not enough sins or animals. Ed. 
ED would be a better answer for chastity, am I right? Hold for applause. All right. Back to the virtues. Uh, erectile dysfunction. Anyway, diligence. Whoops. Oh, you know what? Uh, that was a very American thing because uh, in European countries, there's not commercials for medicine, is there? There's no, like, medical commercials, are there? Did I not... Do I have to write the whole thing? Shoot, where's diligence? Yeah, in America, you're able to uh, just advertise for pharmaceuticals. <clears throat> so we have erectile dysfunction commercials constantly on our television. Are you suffering from ED? It's nothing to be ashamed of. Lots of guys do it. I remember doing this. This this is like the last one I did was diligence, right? Yeah, so it's probably right under sloth. <laughs> Cause the here's the here's the, the real insane thing about our system. There I just called it dill. And then I didn't I didn't write the answer down, which is super smart of me. Uh, you can if you have an ad, if you advertise something medically, uh, you have to list the side effects. That's that's in our laws. So you can't just be like, it's a cure all, and then leave out the part that it like destroys your kidney or whatever. Uh, however, you only have to list the uh the side effects if you list what the pill actually does. So there's a lot of commercials in America that it's like, ask your doctor about the little purple pill and see if it can benefit you. And then that's all the information you get. And then it's like, you go to your doctor, it's like, I'm supposed to ask you about the little purple pill. It's like, you have breast cancer? It's like, no. America. I gotta fill this time with something. <laughs> I, I wanted to do this off screen and I just didn't have time. <laughs> Foda. Foda boys. And the virtue, where this, no, this, I do this. So, yeah, sin's next, sin's next. All right, I gotta do this. Uh, which, actually, I know I saved this under the other one. G-U-A-L. There we go. You can. There it is. E-S. Finally, temperance. Just the just tea, just tea, just good old tea. All 
Alright, this should be it. Boom! We did it! Big brain moment. That's right. It's a big brain moment. It said it on the screen, so I had to do it. It's a big brain. Got one of them big, sinful brains. Big ol' brain. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't done that in a while. Felt good. Felt really good. Let me have a beverage here. Mmm. This is a victory sip here. This is very important, though. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> if that check mark didn't show up, I was going to lose my mind. <laughs> All right. Where are we going, gang? There's so much more we can do now. 84. Autonomy. All right, let me uh, let me get rid of all this stuff. Boop, 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 booby doop. All right. Okay, welcome to a new freaking riddle. Let's go. Don't care which one, so long as it still makes sense afterwards. Don't care which one, so long as it still makes sense afterwards. Stroke, hide, drink, flower. <laughs> At first I thought it was barking commands at me, but I can't flower. Uh, rain, pride, oh no. Uh, sharp, lever, claim, not, binge, table, hype, nice, turn, and sure. All right. Let's view that beautiful page source. Don't care which one, so long as it still makes sense afterwards. That's all the information we really got right here. Copy that image link, and we'll do this. I don't think this is going to do anything for me. Spoilers for the trial. Uh, but we'll do it anyway, because I don't know what else to do with this. It's bigger than expected. <laughs> nothing, nothing too interesting going on here. Alright, I think, I think what I have to do. What I absolutely must do is go to photo pay. Because if I think I, if I don't do threshold on this, I, Maka might never forgive me. So we do a layer. Is it a threshold layer or is it a filter? I think it's a layer. Nothing too obvious here. Like, if they all popped in and out, like, if letters popped in and out, I'd feel better about it. And, like, some letters do seem to go away. No, they all kind of degrade in the same way. So I don't think it is that. So. 
that's good. Uh, so my thought is, let me read that, that note again, because the note is interesting. Don't care which one, don't care which one, so long as it still makes sense afterwards. Don't care which one, so long as it still makes sense afterwards. So it makes... My, my, what my spider sense is telling me is I have to pick something out of this. It could be a word, it could be a letter. Um, just like... Stroke and hide both share the E. Hide and drink both share the I. Drink and flower both share the R. Flower and rain both share the R. Rain and pride, there's just, there's too many of that. Oh, I didn't check what the image was called, you're right. Autonomy. Transformation through deduction. Okay, this is, that is actually kind of where I was eventually headed, surprisingly. Uh, I'm thinking that I need to remove a letter from each word that it remains a word. So, let me get rid of sins. Uh, you could say that that's fine. All right. So like I don't know what to take away from stroke. But it says, we, I don't care which one, so it seems like it's one letter. Right? I, mean, I don't know if I'm, like... Because, like, my first thought is to take the E from hide and make hid. Right? So I'm saying take the E, leave hid. Right? I don't know what to do with stroke. Uh, I don't know if I could jumble stuff. I could take the D and then leave rink. I could take... I could take the L and leave four. I could take the I and leave ran. I could take the P and leave ride. I could take the S and leave harp. I could leave I could take the L and leave ever. I could take the I and leave clam. I could take the K and leave not. Uh, I could take the E and leave Bing. I could take the T and leave Abel. Uh, I could take the E and leave Rip. I can take the N and leave ice. I could take the T and leave urn. And I could take the H and leave core. This seems to be doing good things. Because it's, so it's something like 10th. Why can't I get stroke? Troke? <laughs> Stoke? Stoke. I can take the R. So I take the R and leave Stoke. Like the Stoke the Flames. Red lips like tenth. Red lips like tenth. 
Red lips. Are, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The tenth word is not. Why would red lips like not? Something something tongue tied. Um. Oop, you're right. Uh, I mean, that could just be the answer, but. Oh. Okay. Is this going to give me a copyright strike? Let's find out! This is eight One minutes. One of the previous videos to ever appear on YouTube is the Plague Doctor video of. It says solved. Let me just refresh this. Boom! Remember when I solved riddles in one stream? It's been a while since we've done that. Hey, wait, wait, wait! What's that? What's that? Do you hear? Do you hear that? It's a big brain. It's a big old brain coming through. It's a big brain train. A chugga choo! A chugga choo! It's the big brain train! Yay. <laughs> Victory sip! Why is this shaped weird? <laughs> what is this? Uh... The mystery and solving of the Plague Doctor video. I will, I will watch later. <laughs> Cause man, do I love videos like that. <laughs> I spend a lot of time watching like Nightmind, uh, Night, Nightmare Expo. Uh, what's another good one? That, that covers stuff like that. Uh, Nexpo. Um, I don't know, H-Bomber guy. <laughs> He's come up with some weird stuff. A little escape room action. We can do an escape room. Do, do, do. Do, do. Bed. Boo, do, 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 do. Do, do. All right, so, immediate thoughts, flag code. Like, immediate thought is that that this is flag. Can I, oh, can I get closer to this? Yay! Okay. I will. I will watch it. I won't watch it on stream, but I will definitely watch it. I always have YouTube on in the background. Like, at all times, I have some sort of YouTube in the background. It's often wrestling related, but I also I always have something. I don't like silence. That's where my thoughts live. Uh, I, I really need to remember what this is called. Uh, flag code. Semper Fi, yay! No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This was in my search history. <laughs> I apologize. Simfra. All right. Good old fashioned flag code. Open this in a new tab for me. I go over here. I take it out. I just wanted the image, please. Copy image link. Kaboosh. And then we make this really, really small. And come over here. Faceless little wooden people. Faceless little wooden people. Fake this little one. You guys. <laughs> you, you guys are not getting my shiny happy people reference there. 
<laughs> I'm going to guess you guys aren't into REM. Uh, you've told me repeatedly that you get you do not get my musical references. I shouldn't waste my time. But then I deny you my fantastic voice, which is, you know. Hey, well, we got one. <laughs> um. Okay, so we got wood. We got wood. <laughs> Wooden people. All right, so that's a big old T. Uh, and then the actual T is an R. Uh, and then casually off to the side guy. Where's casually off to the sky? <laughs> uh. It's straight down and then off to the side. Where is, where would that be? Where, where, no. oh, no, the day. It's next to B, it's A. Probably should have realized that it had to be a vowel at that point, but whatever. Uh, then we got a P, we got a P, trap. <laughs> it's a trap. Uh, then we got a P, it's a trap. Uh, this guy's just, Waving E and then D. Trapped. Oops. Okay. That says trapped. Let's enter that. Hopefully I won't end up trapped. Like this is a Sierra game. What? Unless I was supposed to... No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I immediately was just like, oh, I should fix this. A, B, C, D, E, F. What? Okay. So what I immediately find strange about this is I can't play with these dials. Because normally what my mind would say is you have to find a six letter word. However, what I find very strange about this is the top of this says B, C, D, E, F, G. But it should say A, B, C, D, E here. No, well, because it's rolling down. Yeah, so it should be A, B, C, D, and it doesn't. It looks like it says something, like noobs or something. Uh, so, because that's clearly an N. I would say that's an O. I, I'm, th this could be a B or a P. We'll put a question mark for now. Uh, and then it's another O. I guess they could be Q's, but I doubt it. Uh, another question mark, and then an S. Uh, my my guess, I'm looking at my keyboard right now, is that they are either B's, P's, or R's. Because they're not D's. Uh, so, like, it could be, it could be no pops. Uh, let's, uh, let's, this is the, the A, B, C, D, E, F puzzle. So it could say no pops. It could see. Come back. Okay. Okay. I want to look at this burly man. <laughs> we got something here. Uh, again, we get, it's the same type of thing, and this time it says, uh, no popist. No popist. Interesting. All right. Uh, but this is, it could just be, because this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven. Maybe this is where I enter trapped. Maybe that's the idea. Again, I have to spell it correctly, which is the hardest part. 
Hey! Hey! Something fell. What's this? It's a fish. All right, so this. This looks like it is the tools to solve some sort of logic puzzle. Like somewhere I'm going to find like the person with the cat doesn't eat pizza somewhere hiding in this. We'll just keep this here. What is this grid? Let's uh, let's continue. Look. We didn't look at these books. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. Uh, Greek Myths, a wonder book uh, for girls and boys uh, by Hawthorne. Really? Then Hawthorne did a thing on Greek myths. All right. The Jungle Book, Rudyard Kipling. Uh, the Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Uh, Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Uh, which does not mean that they were 20,000 leagues down. They were under the sea and then traveled 20,000 leagues because leagues is a measurement of distance, not depth. Good old Jules Verne, uh, the favorite author of One Doc Brown. Uh, the Secret Garden by Francis Hodges Burnett. Uh, and Grim Fairy Tales by the Grimm Brothers, which is a garbage book. <laughs> If you ever sit down and watch and read and watch and read the grim fairy tales like in their original form, a lot of them are bad. There's literally one that's like, a girl found a box and she wondered what was inside of it. And that's the whole thing. Uh, so, yes, for real. I, I, I remember buying, <laughs> like, because I'm super cool. They, they had those like really nice, real thick, uh, books of like classics at uh, at Barnes and Noble, and I had the complete Grim Fairy Tales and uh, the complete Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and I bought them both. I don't know where my Grimm's Fairy Tale went, but I didn't read a lot of it. <laughs> I uh, I took it to like an oil change, and I was like, this is bad. Uh, so yeah, I I I can't help but notice. Uh, are they, no, they're not. Uh, but they're in rainbow order. Yeah, they, they're not in alphabetical order by author or by uh, uh, title, but they are in rainbow order for some reason. Suspicious. Um, I'm also, I don't see a cat, so I don't think this actually does anything for the, the other puzzle we found, but that's good. Um, anything in the fireplace? What's in the fireplace? Another one of these. No bopsed. We got. What we got here is that a button. Is it, oh no, the number code. Number code. All right, cool. Look for words. Look for number codes. Just checking the rest. Of, uh, just taking this. All right, what we got here? We got a book. It's a notepad. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. It's, it's just like, it's there for, I'm going to double check just the name. It's, it's just notepad.png. Uh, there's often a notepad inside of Escape the Room, so that I think this is just a bit of flavor, uh, as I don't see anything of note on said notepad. Uh, poke this guy in the eye. There's a lock here. Another combo code. Whoops. Um, oh, this is a this is like a desk. I actually used to have a desk very similar to this. That like its way up. Um, break the window. That's a way out. That counts. Uh, <laughs> move it. Uh, I didn't really did I find anything on this bookcase. There's more books here. Can I click on these books? No. 
This is odd. These are strange. It's, they oddly, all right, hold on. <laughs> it looks like numbers in this picture. Like, let me try this. Uh, open a new tab. Room change. Oh, because of the, okay. Um, like here, it looks like it's one, six, three, five, six, zero. One, six, three, five, five, six, zero is what I'm. One. It's more of a one than a three, I think. And that's more than a three than a one. And that, oh, that, yeah, that's a six. Uh, it feels like a five. I don't know. That doesn't look like this. Maybe it's an eight instead of a zero. Just trying it. I'm gonna just try it. I'm gonna click on this. Nope, not gonna click on this. Which which one was numbers? I thought this was the number one. I don't I don't have good eyes. Because one six three five <laughs> zero. <laughs> I don't know what that last one or that middle one is there. Uh, where where was the number code? This is the number code. All right. 